Hey guys, Sulkaras here and welcome back to Make Quest. <clears throat> Something is a bit, feels a bit odd with my throat. I think it's because I just recovered from the, from a cough like two, three days ago. That could be it. Anyway, we are finally going to get back to the Gark Lagos storyline. Go now. Skip. So, I guess I can do the final battle either from the pirate side or the Arthurian side. I'm going to do it from the pirate side. You fought well, but we were unable to hold off the Arthurian onslaught. They are mobilizing occupation forces now. Volunteer for a desperate last stroke mission. Final battle. Aftermath. I wonder if I can go back and do the final battle again from the Arthurian side. I'm going to hope that I can. We have one chance to put an end to this war. We must destroy the Arthurian flying fortress. Attack the Arthurian flying fortress for one last chance to turn the tide of the war. Okay. Talk. Captain Barbarossa's mutiny cost us greatly. Our front lines have fallen. The Arthurians are now marching on Crow's Nook as we speak. All is lost if Crow's Nook falls. We have one last chance. If we can destroy their flying fortress, their strategic advantage will be greatly compromised. We can only dedicate a small raiding we can only dedicate small raiding parties to this mission. It will be extremely dangerous. That is why I am only sending volunteers. So Sally forth and send those scallywags to David Jones locker. Attack! Five battles remaining. The good thing about doing it from the pirate side is that I have to fight the Arthurian mechs, which are considerably weaker than the pirate mechs. Anyway, I'm gonna wall breaker you. Oh shit! I just realized something. Eject. I forgot. I forgot to do this so that my make is powered up. Let's put everything back in. And where's the frying pan? Priceless frying pan. Now let's attack again. And I have an Arthurian bull. Who I'm gonna wall break right off the bat. And you are level 22, I just noticed that. I don't mind that you resist stun defect. That's fine. Hit you with this. What the fuck kind of move was that? That did over 200 damage. What? What? I need to hit you with this. I need to hit you with a fusion beam too to try and get your EP down to nothing. Um, am I still affected by? Yeah, I'm dead. I am just straight up dead. Even if I get the knockout, I'm dead because oh, maybe I'm not dead. I might still be dead though. Damn it, the damage over time got me. What really got me was that, that stupidly powerful attack. I have no idea what that was. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Your level 21, is that level randomized or is the game taking pity on me and lowering the enemy level because I keep losing? Yeah, look, look at that. Look at how much damage that did. What move is that? And here I was saying the Arthurians would be easy. Hey, as long as I don't get hit by damage over time, I should be fine. Because even with the... Please stop hitting me with damage over time effects. 
Okay, drone flyby to finish this off. If I would have missed, I would have been pissed. Four battles remaining. Enemy wins initiative. Do all of you have some weird Uber attack in this in this section? Or was it just that one? Okay, you are stunned. Air gun time. That that is actually a really damaging attack. The second shot missed, so it wasn't that bad, but that actually does like 85 to 90 damage, I think. 80 to 90 damage. Anyway, the eagle is pretty easy to deal with. There, did you see how much damage that did? Hit you with this. I don't care that you resist the immobility. I wasn't going for immobility anyway. I was trying to do this. Energy loss. What do you do with the drone attack? Okay, all of you are level 21, so I think the game reduces enemy level each time you move. And I am dealing with another Arthurian tool. Which is kind of scary because of that one attack he has. Warbreaker does help. Okay, nothing happened. I'm going to hit you with this. And hopefully, lowering your accuracy is going to make that attack do less damage. If you even use it, that is. I'm going to hit you with the fusion beam. Just because I can. Okay, you're not using that move for some reason. I don't know why. But now you're stunned for two rounds. And that means I win. You know, all things considered, this final battle isn't that tough. But it can get a get quite a bit hairy if the Arthurian bull does that move, which I had no idea they could even do. You do with this lower incoming damage from you by lowering your accuracy. Just like that. Now you do with this. Yeah, the eagle seems to have more damaging attacks, I know I'm noticing. Their attacks do a lot more damage, but it's fine. Because they don't have any extra effects, I can just kill them this way. Extra effects seem to be what usually does me in in these fights. Okay, hit you with this. Hopefully that didn't hurt your energy at all. Damn it. Um, gonna hit you with this. You haven't had a chance to use your uber attack yet. And this should lower your accuracy and make that do less damage. Like that missed and made you do no damage to me. He's not using it. I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. The shotgun is nothing to sneeze at either, I'm noticing. Die. Castle battles. Excellent work. The defense of the fortress is weakening. Aftermath. We have one chance to put an end to this war. We must destroy the alternate line fortress. Let me see the aftermath. What is it? Is that the flying fortress? It blew up Crow's Nook. Get ready for the final showdown. Leave. 
I am not ready for the final showdown. I am going to travel to Lagos manually because I want to see that same mission from the pirate side. Oh, I can't go back to the Arthurian side. Then finally. If I click go back. Oops. This is a new day for planet Lagos. The Empire has defeated the pirates and seized control of Troznok. This is Robin I wanted to speak with you before she leaves for planet Artharia. Let me talk first. From this day forward, I shall rule this new Artharian colony. I will help these people rebuild a stronger crow's nook under the protection of the law of the Artharian Empire. It will be a long, hard road ahead for us, but I hope that one day they will accept me and trust that I will be a benevolent ruler. I have decided to keep my sister Robina's involvement with the Pirates a secret. You figured that out? It would bring too much danger to my family if word of her involvement was leaked. She will be returning to Artharia soon to handle some unfinished business. My official report states that the Dread Captain Rhubarb never actually existed. This is merely an exaggeration of the real truth. As Captain Rhubarb, my sister gave these people hope. In many ways, I respect their dedication. They fought extremely well against grossly overwhelming odds. I'm sure that the Artharian Empire will grow stronger now that they are with us. Oh, by the way, my sister asked to speak with you before she returns to Artharia. She will be leaving very soon. Okay, let's talk to Robina, see what happens. So I'm guessing I just can't go back and do this from the Artharian side, right? So please meet me at my secret hideout. I have something very important to discuss with you. Look, I have a bit of a dilemma. Now that the war is over, I must return to Artharia to take care of some unfinished business. My brother has decided to keep my masquerade as Captain Rhubarb a secret. However, the legend of Captain Rhubarb must live on. I must find a successor who is worthy enough to take my place as Captain Rhubarb. I don't want it. Zook, Zook of Mayquest, shut up. I don't want it. I am honored, Robina. Oh no, Zook, I didn't mean you. You are still finishing your degree at Gears University. Thank you. I have more stuff to do, not the degree stuff. Don't talk about the university stuff. I don't want to hear that. But other stuff like fighting Shadow Scythe and killing dinner con diner contestants. You could never balance a rigorous school schedule with the daily needs of being a legendary pirate captain. That that sounds eerily like Peter Parker for some reason, except he plays pirate captain with superhero. And yeah, I'm not Peter Parker, I am not about that shit. I believe Dr. Kringle is the best choice. Also, the Shadow Sight will never suspect that he is really Captain Rhubarb. That is actually kind of smart, not gonna lie. Are you crazy? I'm an old man. The last thing I want is to go gallivanting around the galaxy as a pirate. No, I think I'll stay right here in Trozno. Now that the Arthurian Empire rules this place, the Shadow Sight will have a nasty fight on their hands if they come looking for me. What I really need to do is find a secret place to hide the gift. Hmm, I have an idea. The gift operates on a hyperladder conduit. This technology has nearly unlimited potential. Now if I reconfigure the gift, if I reconfigure the gift with a cross-dimensional data buffer, Eureka! Why didn't I think of this before? Romina, please take the gift and connect it to Rhubarb's power generator. What? Don't ask, it's very complicated to explain. Just make sure you are thinking about all of your experiences as Captain Rhubarb when you connect the gift to the suit. Alright, whatever you say. Here it goes. Err, uh, I'm Captain Rhubarb, and your rights to that cargo are henceforth relinquished. Wait a minute. Where am I? I know you, princess, then who? Oh, her, her, this soul. This is incredible. Old man, you've done it. Captain Rhubarb, you now possess a great treasure. A treasure that the Shadow Sight will stop at nothing to get their hands on. You must guard the gift with your life, for it is what gives you life. Ah, uh, your secret's safe with me, Doctor. 
Now, princess, shouldn't you be returning to Artharia to take care of that unfinished business? Yes, Zulk. You fought bravely in this war. I would be honored if you returned to Artharia uh, with me to help take care of Prime Minister Constantine. Yeah, let's beat that guy up. Yes. Final showdown. Head to Artaria and face the evil Prime Minister Constantine. We've got music. Question. Why does Artharia look like Battleon? Is it just me or, or am I seeing things? Am I imagining things? Or does Artharia look an awful lot like Battleon from Adventure Quest? My liege, your daughter is returning home. No doubt today is a great day for the Empire, so you're Constantine and you must be Altion. You don't look like how you look in Dragon Fable, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe you do, I don't know. Your son will make it fine. Your son will make a fine interim ruler for Planet Lagos. However, I believe that he will be more useful to you here on Artharia. Perhaps I could send one of my agents to govern the planet in his place. This is a good suggestion, Constantine. But Robert would benefit from the experience of ruling his own land. Yes. But there is great danger on planet Lagos. The pirates may not accept him as their ruler. There may even be a, there may even be an attempt on his life. Hmm. Yes, this is true. I will highly consider your suggestion. No, you won't, cause I'm about to beat this guy shit in. Perhaps I could give Robert a safer island, safer land to rule here on Artharia. Ah, here comes my daughter now. Here comes Robina. She has returned. It's a great day for the Empire. Hey, wait, who is that on that ship? Is the Dread Captain Rhubarb? No! How is this possible? Robert reported that he was just a legend. How did he come to be on my daughter's ship? Um, did you say Captain Rhubarb? Excuse me, Honor, Honor, I will be right back. Where are you going? Alright, guys. Comment section, YouTube channel, viewers, whatever, guys. How much you wanna bet? Because I... While I have played this entire game to completion, I'll be honest, I do not remember the story, like, at all. Like, I don't remember any of this, I don't know what Constantine is about to do. But, judging by what I know about how, like, Arctic Entertainment writing goes, how much you wanna bet Constantine is working for the Shadow Side? <laughs> I think he's working for the Shadow Side. Let's see if I'm right. Uh, greetings, people of Artharia. I'm the Dread Captain Rhubarb. As you can see, I'm as real as the legends say. However, I'm not your enemy. All is not as you have been told. The real enemy is your Prime Minister Constantine. He has enslaved many people from a distant planet. The Empire of Artharia has been built on the sweat of others. It will all end today. Captain Rhubarb, how dare you come here and make baseless allegations against us? Err, uh, my fine king Constantine has pulled the wool over her. Uh, my fine king Constantine has pulled the wool over your eyes. My allegations are not baseless. Here is my proof. You have like a recording or is it Robin's testimony? My eyes, freedom. This is terrible. How could we be responsible for this? I couldn't read fast enough. And I read really fast. This can be. Constantine, did you do this? Constantine did this? That vile traitor. Guards, arrest Constantine immediately. There's Constantine. You'll never catch me. More music, and this music is pretty loud. So, Constantine is, at Constantine is attempted to escape in his mecha. Go after him now, I'm on it. 
You have a lot of HP. Also, you noticing something? You look like Mysterio for some reason. I don't know why. You look like a Mecha Mysterio with a different color palette. No, wait. I think Mysterio had one costume where he had a similar color palette. Never mind. How much immobility resist do you have? A lot. I'm gonna wall break at you for that 1% chance. You don't do too much damage I'm noticing. But you do have extra effects which does worry me. Lost footing, decreased immobility resist. Yeah, you have a lot of extra effects that does worry me, but as far as raw damage go, you don't have that much. I'm gonna do this and hope that you miss a lot. Just like that, you only did 9 damage there and damage over time. I think I should focus on the EP drain because I think that is my the way I'm gonna beat you. You have too much HP for me to beat before I run out of HP or energy myself. So I'm gonna stop you from attacking entirely. I think I can survive long enough to do this. Unless I don't damage energy at all. I'm kinda screwed unless I get a world breaker stun or crit or death or whatever. I definitely can beat him though. But no way. Because I need to heal. Final showdown. Skip. I'm on it. Win initiative this time. Which is great because that means I get to do some extra damage to you. Still starting off with one breaker, just not for this stun, which I did get, but for this small chance of ending it here and you dodged. Shield activated, I don't know what that's supposed to do. Absorbs damage, interesting. Hit you with this. Does it reflect damage? It does not, but it does lower damage. I'm noticing. Knockout blow. Shield activated again. I need to hit this and do damage. I'm doing a lot better this time than I did last time. For one, his energy is lower and my HP is still up. That did not miss, I was hoping it would. It did not. But I can hit you with this to lower your energy even more. I think you need to wait a turn after that. Still gonna hit you with this. Oh, it stunned you. Good, because now I can combo off it with this. You have to wait. I'm gonna hit you with this, just because I can. And now I'm gonna finish you off with the gravity attack. You should have used the fusion beam or whatever, but it's fine. Oops. No Dixie. Captain Rupert, you are wanted for over 300 crimes against the Empire. 
However, you acted bravely by coming here and risking your life to expose Constantine's treachery. I hereby pardon you of all crimes under the requirement that you leave Arthuria and never return. Aye, those terms are acceptable to me if you allow me to take this fine ship. So be it. You have 24 hours to leave Arthurian space. Zoom Constantine was badly wounded in your battle, but he survived and was taken into custody. The days of his shadowy deception and lies have come to an end. He gained great wealth and power through his slave operation. But I will order, order all of his wealth to be seized and redistributed to planet Lagos. You are a true hero to the Empire. You have gained a powerful ally today. I'm gonna need that to face off against the Shadow Sight. Planet Legos Volume 1, The End Something about seeing that made me kinda sad Because I'm pretty sure there is no Planet Legos Volume 2 What happens if I return to the hideout? Go to war? So war just brings me here. So yeah, look, there is no Lagos Gark Chapter Two. There is no Volume Two, just Volume One. And seeing that kind of makes me sad because partly, even though I don't remember shit of the story like i said i did beat the game in its entirety a long time ago and while i don't remember anything that happened what is what does these buttons do i can press them but they don't do anything maybe they were supposed to oh don't tell me don't tell me this was supposed to be a much longer screen wasn't it page up page down but they never added more pages so firstly seeing that cutscene like i said even though i don't consciously remember anything i did i do know for a fact that i've seen it before and seeing that cutscene kind of make me nostalgic and what makes me sad though is the fact that i know that the game never got any updates. He, see, this is the sad part of this game. The main story is finished, yes. But you see, while you do the main story and do side quests, you see so many cliffhangers, so many features coming soon, so many things that clearly they were experimenting, but did not finish, did not get to finish, did not but polish. So many concepts, like the combo concept from Zargon, the, what else was there? The extra classes, yes, which were other missions, some jobs, I think. Maybe the ghost hunter stuff, because you do have, yeah, when you take the part-time job quest, it does say they unlock more missions, so all of them were supposed to do things. The ability to capture ghosts, they were obviously planning on doing something with that. But they just never got around to it. Because the game, they just abandoned the game before it could reach its full potential, to be honest. In Zargon, the, there was the bad background effects, which does damage and other stuff to both sides. They were clearly experimenting with a lot of cool stuff. Even the melee battle system, it's half-baked. It really needed more time in the oven. Everything about this game has a solid foundation, but that's all it is. This game is nothing but a solid foundation. And that's what makes me sad. It's like, like it's like, say, 
as a kid this is a very very weird analogy i'm gonna give you but bear with me like imagine as a kid there was an empty lot area where you used to play all the time and then one day and while you used to play there were signs all over the place in the empty lot that said that had like a amusement park or whatever or maybe a children's playground was going to be made there and you and your friends were really excited about it because they were going to put in slides it was still going to be your, your own neighborhood hangout spot where you get together with neighborhood kids and play because it's an empty lot you play there but you're excited because they are also going to add stuff like slides and swings and seesaws and what have you and then you go to high school you grow up you stop playing and you do your thing and then many years later like how many years was it 10 years later you come back and on one hand you see that the empty lot is still there just the way you left it but you're also a bit sad because you see that the very very old signboard saying that they're gonna put in slides and shit is also still there that's what it feels like for me when i'm playing this game like this game is a foundation where they planned to build more stuff on it but they never got around to the building part it's just a solid foundation and nothing else and again like i said i'm not even faulting this game for that i'm not faulting this game for that thing it's just like a sad turn of events that this game did not get the popularity and again i am not blaming the artics entertainment staff either they've been really good as far as i can tell from playing dragon fable dragon fable is kind of more paywally but not too much it's still playable it's not unplayable with its play paywalls and and paid content stuff even in its free to play play blah, blah, i can't talk even in its free to play version dragon fable is still a pretty solid game adventure quest is really good i have to say i haven't paid for like a paid account a subscription for any of those games or not oops i got excited and accidentally slapped my headphone off my head but like i was saying i haven't paid for z tokens or nova gems or dragon coins or whatever haven't paid for her dragon lord or guardian or star captain in any of the games so i am personally a free player of rtx entertainment games i just play it i would no joke no joke if they started putting actual ads i'm gonna be honest here the ads that was on this game and on other games i've seen they are mostly ads for their own games but in the paid way if they started putting actual youtube tier ads i say youtube tier like youtube has good ads old youtube tier where the ads weren't complete bullshit on youtube so like if if artist entertainment started putting like old youtube uh, respectable ads on their games i would not even mind i don't know what other players think i'm not an active member on the community side of things i just love the games i don't really engage with the community at all well, but i personally would not mind at all if they started putting ads on these games not let me clarify not in the same way mobile games do it that's bullshit but the way how make quest and adventure quest how make quest used to do it and how adventure quest does it like hey you can watch up to four ads a day to get some extra rewards for make quest it was nova gems for adventure quest it's gold and experience maybe even z tokens but i'm not entirely sure if you can get god damn it i keep i keep accidentally pulling my earphones off 
See, when I, you guys don't know this because I don't have a face cam. Bring, bringing out the old, old tried and true Zook catchphrase. If I had a face cam right now, you would see that. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I don't have a face cam. Um, so you guys don't know this, but when I talk to someone, especially if I get really excited, I move my hands a lot. Like, I am a very animated kind of person when I'm talking. I'm not an outgoing person. I am very much an introvert and I like staying home and don't like social uh, interactions that much unless said social interaction is from behind a computer screen because somehow that makes it feel better. Weird, I know. But and when I talk to someone, I move my hands up all over the place, like a lot. That's just what I do. So yeah, that's why I keep accidentally slapping my headphones off my ear. I accidentally keep yanking them off. Anyway, like I was saying, so in Adventure Quest, you get to choose to watch ads in exchange for some rewards. Same with Make Quest. You can't do it anymore, but you used to be able to do it. So, and those ads are primarily just the uh, paid account for res the respective games. But it doesn't have to be. If Artix Entertainment started giving normal ads, like YouTube TR ads, I would not mind watching those at all. Uh, if it helps fund the game development for some of these games, even if it helps fund adventure, more content for Adventure Quest and Dragon Fable and what else do you have? Adventure Quest Worlds, Adventure Quest 3D. I should really play Adventure Quest 3D. I played a little bit way back when it was in early alpha and I have not played it for what? Like five, six years now. I should really make an account and play Adventure Quest 3D at some, time, some point. Maybe on the channel. Maybe I'll do some bonus videos on the channel. Like messing around with Zoom videos. Be that as it may, uh, I understand why Artix did not like add new content to make quest anymore. Did not work on this game anymore. Why they abandoned it. Because they are a company and they need profit. And I'm not one who believes in the whole, whole ever increasing profit ideal. No, no, no. I don't believe that's a good idea. But it's a fact that you do need to make money because Artix Entertainment, they have employees. They need to pay their employees. So they have to make money from somewhere, right? And with most of these games being free to play with some things no most of these games are free to play they, you can buy extra content with like a subscription or whatever but they are very much free to play so uh, if they I can understand if a game is not making money at all it makes sense to like get rid of that game's team dev team and put them to work on a different game it just makes more sense. I'm not mad at Artix for never updating MakeQuest. Even though MakeQuest is by far the, my favorite Artix game. Like, I like this game more than Dragon Fable and Adventure Quest. I'll say that right here on record. MakeQuest better than Adventure Quest. For me personally. Because I like this Make stuff. I like its customization. I like how MakeQuest plays. But I understand that this game was not profitable and so they had to exit. They can still keep some of the servers working, I guess, but that's about it. So I understand. I'm not mad at them for it, but it still just makes me sad that this game just did not get more content, did not get graphic updates, did not get more fleshed out systems, did not get better mechanics, did not build on top of all those things that was promised. 
this game has a very solid gameplay system but that's all it is because they the system never got the chance to get polished to be iterated on you know so this i guess what i'm trying to say is make quest in my eyes had a lot of potential and the fact that it just was not viable to keep updating this thing is just sad it makes me sad but i guess that's all i want to say for this episode so guys that's it for this video ending it off on one of those zulkar's rants that i tend to go off on more often than not so yeah if you like this video be sure to leave a like comment and or subscribe dislike it if you hated it a harder comment to let you know i've read them so just because i added your comment doesn't mean i agree with it or endorse it i'm zulkaris and i'm gonna go work on some doom maps not hell invasion but something else and i'll see you next time goodbye